Good day everyone! For today's video, I am going to discuss about electrocardiogram or also known as ECG or EKG. Again, when we say ECG or the electrocardiogram, it is a diagnostic tool that measures and records the electrical activity of the heart. Interpretation of these details allows diagnosis of wide range of heart conditions. ECG is used to measure first the rate and irregularity of heartbeats, the size and the position of chambers of the heart, the presence of any damage to the heart, and last, the effects of drugs or devices used to regulate the heart, such as pacemaker. The materials that need in conducting ECG are the following. First is the ECG machine, the ECG paper, the lead wires, the skin electrodes, the suction bulb, the ECG gel or the alcohol swab, tissue, pen, clippers or razor. Here are some special consideration in ECG taking. So first is always verify doctor's order, explain the procedure to the patient, and offer opportunity to ask any questions about procedure. Generally, fasting is not required before the test. Ask the patient about all medications prescribed over-the-counter drugs, and herbal supplements. Ask also the patient if she or he have pacemaker. The areas where the electrodes are to be placed may be shaved. If the chest, arms, or leg are very hairy, it may be clipped or shaved small patches of hair as needed so that the electrodes will stick closely to the skin. As they remove any jewelry or other objects that may interfere with the procedure. And have patient to lie flat in the center of table or bed for the procedure with him or her arms at her, his or her side. Another consideration in taking ECG is make sure that the patient feet are not touching the bedboard. Ask the patient to relax to minimize muscle trembling. It will be important for the patient to lie still and not talk during the procedure so as not to interfere with the tracing. Select flat, fleshy areas to place the electrodes. Avoid muscular and bony areas. And last, if the patient has amputated limb, choose a site in the stump. So now, I am going to do the procedure. So watch me and learn with me. Before we conduct our ECG procedure, let me introduce you first, my patient. Her name is Pinky. As I mentioned earlier, before we conduct this procedure, make sure that there's a doctor's order. And last, make sure you explain clearly the procedure to the client. Another tip also, don't forget to wash your hands and sanitize your hands. Before we attach the skin electrodes, make sure we clean the attachment area. After we clean the area, 
we will apply the electrode gel or disposable electrodes to the patient wrist and medial aspects of his ankles, of her ankles rather. Secure electrodes promptly to prevent from the drying. Next is, we're going to attach the limb leads. For the right arm, it is color red. For the left arm, it is yellow. For the right foot, it is black. And for the left foot, it is green. Right arm, red. Left arm, yellow. Right foot, black, and left foot, green. And before we attach the skin electrodes, we should first find where we should start in this, in this area. So, for the location of B1, it is located at the fourth intercoastal lane at the right sternal border. So, one, two, three, four. This is the location of B1, the fourth intercoastal lane. The next is the V2 located at the fourth intercoastal lane at the left sternal border. The next is the V4 or the fifth located at the fifth intercoastal lane at the left mid clavicular lane. Fifth intercoastal lane. Fifth intercoastal lane at the mid capitular lane. The next is the V3, the halfway between V2 and V4. So it is in the left side. The next is the B5, located at the 5th intercoastal lane at the anterior axillary. 5th intercoastal lane at the anterior axillary. And last, the V6, located at the 5th intercoastal lane in the left mid-axillary lane. After we put the disposable electrodes, we're now going to attach the suction bulbs. So, for the B1, the color of the color of it is red. For the B2, yellow. For the B3, brown. For the B4, green. For the B5, black. And for the B6, purple. After we attach, the suction bulb, um, 
Turn on the machine and check the paper speed selector. 25 millimeters per second and set to full voltage. Record normal standardization mark. If any part of the waveform extend beyond the paper, adjust it to have a standardization and note if to consider for interpretation. During the procedure, write the patient data, the name, the age, the sex, the diagnosis is optional, and also the date and time. Tell also the patient to lie still and not to talk when ECG is recording. Press the auto button, then press run button. This will record all the 12 bleeds automatically. Then press stop. Next is press mode button, select manual and press lead to, then press run button. This will record long lead to or the rhythm strip. And lastly, while conducting the procedure, observe the quality of the tracing. Remember, best to record ECG in a standard way are the following. First is, patient is in supine position, arms by their side, chest electrodes in their correct position, limb electrodes on wrist and ankles, recorded at 25 millimeters per second, and last, calibrated at 10 millimeters and millivolt. After the procedure, once the tracing is completed, the staff will disconnect the lids and remove the electrodes and clean the patient's skin. Label the ECG tracing with patient's name, age, sex, date, and time taken. Inform the patient that he or she be able to resume normal diet and activities unless the physician instruct him or her differently. Generally, there is no specific care following an ECG. Tell the patient to notify physician if he or she develop any sign or symptoms he or she had prior to the chest test. Example of chest pain, shortness of breath, and dizziness. And last, show the ECG strip to the requesting physician for initial interpretation. And that would be the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Hope that you learn something. Keep safe everyone.